Today is the 20th of May and we're going to have a go today of uh, removing the water pump and hopefully putting the new one on. Um, see I've already taken the nuts out and the studs out and uh, it's just been held on now by the gasket and some goo I suspect. So to get that off I'm going to hopefully just give it a whack with the Mass. It's moving, which is a bit. Can't do too much. Most of these are not on very tight at all. You wonder why someone who did this last time didn't tighten it up properly. on these bolts will be cleaned off. There we go. Here it comes. Somewhere. Oh well, we'll have, have another go. <laughs> I think I told you I had to remove the uh, water pump, the new water pump, simply because I couldn't get these bolts down into these holes properly. Not a full depth anyway. Even though I tried using a tap to do it, but this one wasn't. Even though this this is a number one, and. Uh, wouldn't go even that wouldn't clear the blockage the other problem was because this is a normal tap wrench these normal tap wrenches it wouldn't go to do these holes down here there was no way I could use one of those this wouldn't go past the pulley there even even using the smaller one of course there was no way and these here just fouled on those studs there. Um, so I was, I had to buy one of these. I don't know what you call them, tap holders. It's like a little uh, uh, chuck on a drill, which allows you to get in a lot along the line of the hole like that without fouling anything of course it has this handle but that handle comes out so allowing you to 
get in there without any interference. The only problem is this is quite expensive, like cost me £38 this afternoon, but it's ne a necessary th piece of equipment. Uh, you also might want to, if you're not in, uh, into machining, you might know there's but normally three types of taps. One for starting the thread, one for finishing it. The ones you use for starting the thread are number ones and twos. As you can see the difference there, this is quite, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's quite a taper there and the thread itself, the cutting part of the uh, tap finishes quite early. Now this is a plug tap which goes right down to the bottom as you might be able to see that the uh, cutting part of the uh, tool goes much further down into the, uh, uh, the tap itself allowing it to clear the bottom of the hole, a blind hole. So it's quite simple really what you do fit the tap itself into the holder there, tighten it up as much as you can and then insert it into the hole like so, carefully of course and slowly turn it by hand of course until it picks up the thread And hopefully it will allow you to clear that. I'm going to have to check this again though. Put some light on it. I can just about do it. You must be very careful what you're doing. Because this is aluminium here. And you do not want to damage that thread at all. So I'd better run first tap down it first and see what I can get it down there easier. Find it. Might do it by hand first. Be very very careful so we mustn't cross this or damage the thread in any way. Just gently use both hands if you want to. If you can't. Now if it starts getting a bit stiff, just put the uh, bar in, give it a bit more leverage, but obviously if it comes to a dead stop don't force it, whatever you do. And of course 
turn it backwards just to clear the gunk at the end. So this hole is really very tight. Well, I've hit a stoppage there, so I'll have to pull it back out again. That's going to go. As you can still see, I've still got remains of the gasket on there, and I'm going to have to get a new one. I've got one on order, but I don't think I'll get it for this weekend. As you can see, there is some gunk on the end of it, if you can see there. Or not bit stuck there so I'm gonna to have to put the plug tap down and have another go. We'll come back to that one in a minute. We'll refocus, zoom in so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. Refocused and zoomed in a wee bit. Start putting the uh, plug tap in. Get it into the uh, holder first. The mentions on this new plug tap are a lot more than the old, the other one. Yeah, let's hope it goes in all right. I recommend doing it again. You've got to do this by hand, of course. Extremely careful what you're doing. This is a bit tight, this. That's the reason I'd like it to be. Had a problem getting the bolt down here again. As you can see there, right down on the bottom of the hole now. Have a look at it. Just pull it, turn it out again. The opposite direction of course. You never use a power tool to do this. You can see there's quite a, there's a fair amount of gunk on that, on the end of it. Taking a little bit of metal out, but not much, I don't think. Rope. So we'll have another go here.
do it by hand. Put the other tap down. both hands to support it because this tool is really quite relatively heavy and just ease it down here in the thread that you go there's obviously something there so let's go Some gunk down there. Obviously. There you are, bottom again. Pull. Don't pull it out, just turn it back out again, backwards. You can probably see a fair amount of conk on the end of that. Some metal, which I'm not too happy about. So. Hmm. Well, let's hope this not caused any problems anyway. Anyway, I'll just carry on doing that now and uh, I'll catch up with you later. <laughs>